So as of late, it seems like Netflix is kind of off their game with their original movies. It, it seems like they're just kind of at a lower quality compared to their TV shows. But with the release of Apostle, I think it's kind of a step in a, the right direction. It's directed by the director of both the Raid movies, and this guy directs action like none other. He is really, really good at directing action. And this movie really steps it up and kind of just goes for it. It's a really, really good Halloween movie because I think it kind of pays homage to like older movies such as like The Worker Man. And it just takes it up a notch because the actual the actual gore and what's going on with the movie is really brutal and it it's it kind of it's really dark i should say it's the perfect word for this movie it's it's just really dark and when you when you play around with something such as a cult and someone visiting an island and trying to go undercover to rescue somebody it it gets it goes to some dark places so what is apostle about that's the name of this movie so it's about this guy who is informed that his sister is being held captive by this cult and he goes to this island and basically just tries to find her and rescue her a simple plot but there is stuff he uncovers while he's there that makes him realize that he is in a much more grave situation than he thought he would be in the first place. Dan Stevens, who plays the lead role in this movie, he's phenomenal. He was recently in The Guest, and he was in the Beauty and the Beast movie, playing the Beast. The dude has some serious acting chops. He is really, really good, and he's awesome in this movie as well. He, he, I, I would be curious to see what the behind of the scenes of this movie looks like because there's just some intense shit in this movie some i guess you would say torture scenes kind of on par with it reminded me at moments it's kind of like a house of a thousand corpses kind of that kind of brutality but yeah it just it just kind of goes there i don't want to give away anything but the if you've seen the trailer it kind of you can kind of get a inkling of what this movie will have to offer but it just kind of goes a step beyond maybe even two steps beyond there's some stuff i just did not expect and yeah i think you'll generally be surprised uh, especially if you're kind of a seasoned horror person there's stuff that really shocked me in this movie and i've seen a ton of horror movies so that's one huge positive that just kept me on my toes i guess um, a big negative of this movie is that i feel like the middle portion is just a little stretched out and slow and it doesn't really pick up steam until the last hour of the movie there's just characters in this movie i feel like that were not utilized fully such as i believe she was the daughter of the cult leader she's a redhead i can't remember her name but whoever that is is i don't feel like her story arc really is that fulfilling and i don't think it really goes anywhere so that's a wasted character for me and I'll, also i didn't really care for um dan stevens sister there I, you don't really there's not much time with her in this movie because she's hidden and uh, dan stevens character is trying to find her so ultimately the person you care for the most is Dan Stevens' character, and I guess that's all that matters, right? It's He's the forefront, so as long as you care for him, then you're good. So, yeah, he's great, and um, I, don't, I don't know all the actors' names offhand, but uh, there's two people that are kind of in charge of the cults, and they interact a lot, and those, those dudes are really intense and really great. There, there's a scene in this movie that takes place in a church and people get lined up. It's one of my favorite scenes in the movie. It's really intense. And I would keep an eye out for that scene because some stuff goes in that down in that and it's pretty awesome. Um, along with that, some highlight moments is there's what they call purification. And that's another standout scene in this movie. Really just some nasty stuff and just horrible, horrible things. 
and th I think that's the darkest this movie goes, just because there's, I feel like there's layers, there's definitely layers to what happens in this scene, aside from the actual brutality of it, um, but yeah, I feel like just, just, this movie just goes to so many different places, and it really resonated with me. So, yeah, Apostle. It's it's great, guys. I love this movie. Uh, it's a little long, and some characters I didn't really feel like were fully realized, but I highly recommend it, especially if you're into kind of really high-octane brutality horror movies. So I would check it out. It runs about 2 hours, 10 minutes, something like that. It's, it's a little bit long, but I think you'll dig it if... If you like these kind of movies, I would love to know what you guys thought of Apostle. I think this is a super great direction for Netflix movies to go in, just kind of just going for it in every one of their movies and just don't play it safe. Actually, just try to make something really special each time you make a movie. So I, I would love to hear what you guys thought of this movie in the comment section below. Let's talk about it. Like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you at the movies.